Ooh. This one comes to you out of 155 weight class. Out of the red corner, fighting out of highest down MMA from Matthews in North Carolina. Please all welcome out Tyler Kurt you know, every fighter sort of like kind of aggressively throws the curtains open. Yeah. But they don't wow. really, it's not like nothing happens. Like it's yeah. a very unsatisfying That's, thing. I want to get some weighted curtains, you know, something that'll have some ump to it when you hit it. Because well, cause if you don't throw them, you kind of have to like <laughs> your way through them. And then that looks silly. I want to see somebody kick them open, just like a teeth. I don't think wow. anything would happen. Just also, their foot would come out, and then they get tangled <laughs> up. That's what I'm saying. If you have one that's weighted, gonna, it'll blast open like a like Make sure set of doors. Is turned off. Please. Smoke machine behind the curtain also might be cool. That way, when you open it really aggressively, it like pumps a bunch of smoke out. Maybe some dinosaurs. Yep. Yep. Or like a <laughs> roaring sound, like a rainforest cafe. <laughs> <laughs> I guess there's a reason that we don't do that part. Yeah, we just yeah. do this part. <laughs> They're like, well, we put Mike and Dylan in charge of the uh, walkouts, and our budget went up to $1.7 yeah. $1. million. They ordered an <laughs> F-15. <laughs> we got a flyover from the Blue Angels. <laughs> More pomp. <laughs> More pageantry. Same guy that used to do Goldberg's Pyro got hired for the show. Absolutely. Tyler Kirkpatrick representing Highestan MMA. Coach Kevin Ferrant yeah, in the corner. Yeah, the Fighting out of TKO Statesville, North Carolina, please welcome Sam Marler! Sam Marler, aka Sam Mauler, as I was calling him after that last fight. Uh, what a performance he had in his MMA debut. Rocky, kind of weird, middle of the road kickboxing career, but really started his MMA journey off with a bang in that last fight that he had. Great performance, finished it via armbar. Now looking to do it again. Can we, can we talk about the fact that he is coming out to a Britney Spears song and is walking like a... He looks like he's in line at the grocery store. Yes, yeah. like he's just going to cash a check. Yeah, That's yeah. He just is like, uh, what do I do? I go over here? Okay, cool. What kind of music do you want to... I, I, Britney Spears, I guess. Like it. <laughs> That's an artist that humans like, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Human music. So I, I love Cron Gracie because he was like, I don't like music. And they were like, well, what do you want to come out to? And he was like, just play that alarm that you guys play when Godzilla attacks to the people who run Ryzen. <laughs> That's brilliant. Um, what is going on with the equipment over there? That's Goodness a great gracious. Question. That is a... Hmm. Oh, leg kick. Dang. Nice, te nice trip there from Kirkpatrick. Finds himself on a heavy side control position. Kirkpatrick immediately taking control. And kick, body lock, slam. Marler's working that Cosoto hook on the far side. He's going to give it up because if somebody starts passing into you, that's more something you use if they're going away from you. When they're coming into you, it almost pulls them right in the mount like we're seeing here. Sam Marler being tested early by Kirkpatrick. Kirkpatrick, Kirkpatrick landing big shots. He hit him flush with three or four of those punches. His corner telling him to posture up and ground a pound. And he's holding him. He's Yeah, it's like he's yeah, cradling him. Yeah. Sambo style. Which which would lead to could lead to him getting swept. Yeah. But that's not what's happening. Yeah, he's really heavy up high, and when you're really high like that, it's hard for the hips to influence what way you move. And when you pull on a guy's head, it takes his power and his ability to move you away from yeah, him. Yeah, that's another thing, too. With the hip bump sweep from out, you have to be able to look up. You have to be able to move your head and actually physically look up. If you just look straight on your opponent, all of your momentum and your you know your sweep is just coming from your hips. And as you can see, for Patrick's so high that the hips aren't really a, a problem for him right now. And he is tying him up. Now he's tying up that other hand. And Marler just looks to be on the defensive. Yeah, Kirkpatrick 0-2 fighting like he's trying to get his first win in the cage. Yeah, it would have been a good time. Sam should have said that. <laughs> this, Look yeah. at him just pushing up. Like he's just mashing his head down. Like put your head in a place where I can punch it. This is some brutal ground and pound. Marler is not making... Any progress here, and 
he is taking a lot of shots. Honestly, that's really good that he was able to get to his back there, but I know he used a lot of energy to yeah. do it. Yeah, Marler's kind of high. That's okay. Kirkpatrick, Kirkpatrick is kind of on the side of this. That's what I mean. Kirkpatrick is kind of high. He yeah. was kind of high. He is high. Now Marler's coming out. Marler should be able to turn into the guard as soon as he clears that arm. He actually is yes. holding the head in a way that will prevent him from spinning. Yeah. He Kirkpatrick's building to an arm now. He's got it folded up and defended. I don't know. He needs to get posture. He needs to step up over the legs because if he allows Kirkpatrick to roll and get those hips underneath him, now he can kind of launch him. And I don't like the way Sam's protecting his hand. He's, he's trying to grab onto his own wrist. He's not figure fouring. Oh, knee to the shoulder. I don't like, yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a response for sure. Knee, another knee to the shoulder. He's trying to go belly down with his arm it's bar. It's not quite in, I don't think. I think the elbow's out now. Yeah. Marler's still unable to regain his posture. Wow. And Marler, he's still being attacked Marler from was, bottom. Marler had a tough round, but he will end it on top. Uh, unprecedented start here at Fight For It. But Kirkpatrick was still attacking from yeah. bottom. Like, yeah. his, his attack of that arm from bottom definitely has Marler worried about that like Marler's not going to feel safe on top of him after feeling that kind of relentless dog on a bone type mentality that Kirkpatrick is going after that armbar. Yeah, let's see that. Let's see that outside trip on the back or or that go behind whatever it was. Body lock, just a sweet little yep. go behind takedown. Keep it simple. That takedown is one, you know, a, a lot of lip service goes around about. Oh, you could, you can. Use martial arts to defeat bigger, stronger opponents. That takedown right there is one of those moves. Yeah, like, yeah. like a, an 80-pound person can do that to a 200-pound person Absolutely. if they time it right. That's a good self-defense takedown. To Absolutely. It's one of the first ones we teach in yeah. our self-defense program. Don't sweat in my drink, please, sir. Jesus. Yeah, Tyler Kirkpatrick over here. Just came over here and shook off just, on yeah. like a dog. Just sweating all over the place. Tough round for Sam Marler. I feel like yeah. he did just enough to not get 10 aided Marler a little tentative. And you see Kirkpatrick immediately is on that body lock. Yeah. to crunch him up again. And then gets the trip despite Marler having the underhooks. He's got dope mount too now. He just sits back a little bit and he'll you kill that hip. You see he did that. Marler had both underhooks and he still tripped him down like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's just too that's, strong too. That's very, that just shows very good, like you said, strength. And, then and timing. Protect, timing, yeah. yeah. So now Marler's got a little half guard going. This is a much better position for him, but the thing about half guard in MMA is it's about movement. You need to be able to move through the positions really rapidly compared to jiu-jitsu, where and you have an opportunity to slow things down. And he's just holding on to him with that headlock. Yeah. Just try, it looks more like he's trying not to get finished, finished rather yeah. than he's trying to win. This is trying not to lose is one of the ways that I would put it. Interesting, interesting. Sam's going to try to walk this to full guard. Nice, nice way to kill that by Kirkpatrick. Puts that knee into the mat. I really thought that maybe Marler was trying to work a pass by back take, but uh, that's just not going to work here. Now, now this you can work with, and we saw Kirkpatrick make use of the full guard in the last round too. And Marler is climbing his legs up high, so he's already working. And Marler's and got punching long legs. from bottom. Marler's got long legs. Yeah, Marler actually showing a little more like life and activity from this position than he has in some of the others. But still, it's just sort of stalling, just keeping keeping Kirkpatrick from posturing up to hit him. Kirkpatrick using that elbow to dig in. Oh wow! Oh, and he's caught the arm. He missed the triangle, but caught the arm. He has Kirkpatrick's arm. I don't know. He's he out. lost it. Yeah. And now, now it's Kirkpatrick. Kirkpatrick is in position. Reverse cow. Uh, reverse mount. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jason. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! Sam Marler. I, I kind of missed the beginning of that, but it looked like he just used octopus guard in MMA, yeah. which is starting to kind of catch on a little bit. But yeah, it's also been in Australia. In Australia, they call that the reach around guard. Yeah. <laughs> Now, Kirkpatrick reaching back for that, that guillotine, and then, but Marler sort of concedes that it happened. I think he's He strong. has a he's guillotine. Strong. He's strong on that. He he's, has a he's guillotine, strong. He's strong. and he's on the, the strong side but, of it. Oh, if he links his hands. Watch his chin. That's how you'll know. 
See how he's tucking the chin into the back of the neck? Yeah. That's a good bite. That's a good bite. He's got him twisted up sideways with this thing, too. If he gets that arm out of the equation. Cage Wall's, cage wall's not doing him any favors. Hey. Oh, that's tight. That's short time. And we've seen Sam in this situation before. We know he'll just hold on. That last fight, same situation played out. Wow. Tyler Kirkpatrick, man, he is fighting the fight of his life right now. Kevin Ferrant in the corner had some brilliant grappling cornering going on. When I listen for grappling cornering, I try to make myself better, and that's one of the guys I would definitely listen to because he's not giving you complex equations in there. He's not telling you you need to take this leg out, stretch to the left, put this leg in. He's just like giving you simple concepts, inside position, find the inside position, get a frame in, you know, just very simple stuff that you can actually actualize in the moment in the fight. That's a sign of good coaching. Absolutely. That, now, Kirkpatrick is pretty toasted right now. Yeah, yeah. I like, mean, I he's, think he's I, pretty He's pretty tired. I wonder <laughs> if he feels in this moment like, like, man, what else do I have to do to this guy? Like, I feel like I've done a lot. He's done yeah. a lot of damage and had a lot of control time, dominated Marler, but Marler's, like, not gone anywhere. Well, we know Marler's tough. We know Marler is that Kubrick as stare. tough as they come. Yeah. Shark eyes, dolphin smile. And now Marler was a little more prepared for the initial body lock. And maybe Kirkpatrick has a little less steam on him now. So he defended at least one attempt before getting taken down, rather than getting immediately taken down. So that's progress. Back in the full guard of Marler. This is where some of the trouble came for Kirkpatrick. So and now Marler has more time to work with this. Yeah. Because Kirkpatrick was never able to posture up and really do damage from Marler's guard. Kirkpatrick should try to keep his hips forward without leaning too much of his weight forward. He needs to keep the neck of Marler into the fence wall because it's hard to use your full guard attacks when your neck is in the fence wall. You can't, yeah. you can't stretch out. Yeah, and he is mashed up. He is stacked up big time. And, and again, Kirkpatrick using that hand behind his head like a collar tie or like, yeah. a, like a tie clinch mm -hmm. and balling him up. The Marlers. Kirkpatrick trying to find a home for his punches. But Marler's using, look, he's even blocking punches with that leg. Marler's using his right leg to block punches from Kirkpatrick. I mean, that's how they used to teach the setup. That's how, the, the, like. To set up for like a triangle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, how, that's how the old school MMA guys would teach this. Like, you're not going to get this unless they're going out of the box and trying to punch you. Then you can kind of pummel this leg in yeah. under the punches and, and get this triangle set up. But it's so hard to do that when you're curled up like this. It's very yeah. hard. He can't pivot. He can't move. He's not in charge of where exactly. his body goes because yeah. of the way he's balled up. And you see, once he got his head on straight, he got much more active. His legs started climbing around. He started attacking. Sam's, Sam's controlling that wrist. Watch he's, that wrist. He's looking for that triangle. Yeah, he tried to it, and then Tyler just beat him to the ground. Uh, Tyler's doing a good job of managing the inside position. He's managing. He's in the guard, and he's under attack, but he's staying inside. It's not until your arm gets forced to the outside or your head gets pushed off the center line that you start to experience the problems. Yeah, and he's, he's making... Really he's good making use progress their, now. Yeah. He's making really good use of their ring positioning, having him tilted up against the cage like that. Because in open space, Marler have a lot more options. Or if Marler could find a way to use the cage to improve his position. 30 seconds left in this one, guys, and uh, it's a bad, bad night right now to be Sam Marler as Tyler Kirkpatrick comes down the home stretch dominantly looking to he's got a baseball the position jack. still. He's got a baseball bat. Oh, he has a baseball oh, bat choke. Oh, that is he a, baseball, a no -key baseball, baseball bat choke. Oh. It's tight, too. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I've, I've seen. Oh, man. He popped out. Dang, that was close, dude. That, wow. I've seen a few guys hit that in Nogi, but I've, I've never seen, never seen an MMA. No, never. What a fight. Tyler Kirkpatrick with the performance of his life. I'm hoping that he can get that first dub after that when he earned it. Certainly, certainly. Oh, man. Marler had us nervous with that last ditch. Yeah, that How baseball that? choke looked pretty sweet. That's crazy. You can feel confident that Tyler Kirkpatrick did enough to improve his record. He was at 0-2. A win here would put him at 1-2. and
Sam Marler presented problems and obstacles throughout, even when he was on bottom, even when he was in an extremely disadvantaged position. He was still able to threaten submissions and keep himself from taking a ton of damage and even threatened a no-gi baseball bat choke from bottom, which is an extremely rare submission, period, let alone in MMA. Now with the judge's decision, We got a decision, and it's a unanimous decision for the red corner, Tyler Kirkpatrick. Now Dylan McGrath is going to talk to the winner, Tyler Kirkpatrick. Can I grab you real quick? Hey, man. I'm here with the winner, Tyler Kirkpatrick. Tyler, man. I'm gonna ask you, third time out, finally getting that dub. How's that feel, my friend? It feels great. Long time coming. I feel like, you know, I should have won a long time ago, but it's you. You know, I'm happy for you. Absolutely grueling fight. There was a moment right before the third where you were like hanging out right here in front of us, and my co-commentator was, he's looking at us like, what else do I gotta do to this guy? Was the toughness of Sam Marler a surprise to you? Uh, no, he's a tough dude. Um, I knew where my openings would be. I knew where I was good at. I figured I'd just wait for my moments and take them. But I knew he was going to be a tough guy. You, know. you came in with a classic Kevin Ferrant, Heistan style strategy and game plan. Was that kind of always the, the move? Or did, you, did you feel like you executed the game plan properly? Uh, no, that wasn't the game plan. I was going to try and show off my strike a little more. I just saw the openings with the takedown. I couldn't help but resist. So, you know. I, I, yeah, I mean, every time you got on top, you were really, really dominant. I was really impressed by the way you were able to control those positions, and you neutralized the full guard in the third round, putting his head against the cage. Uh, how long have you been training? Uh, with High Sam, about two years consistently, yeah. Before then, it's kind of shaky, but two years consistently with High Sam. And what does it mean to, for you to be a part of that team? I love this team. I love this team. I can't be anywhere else. I love these guys. One of the best teams in the area, in my opinion. Every time you guys come out, I feel like I get better just by – watching you guys, listening to the coaching and the dynamic you guys have as a team. Do you have any shout outs for them or your family or anything before I let you go? Hey, just shout out to Hyatt Sand and yo, Nizeg is about to get it too. He's next. He's next. And what's next for you, my friend? Another fight. Let's go. I'm ready. Give, more, give me it. November. November 4th. I'm trying to get in get the Grady Cole Center. I'll be there. Awesome. Well, congratulations once again, my friend, on a phenomenal fight and your first dub. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your winner one more time. <laughs>